A nest of vipers. All right. Now that we're past the entrails, let's see where we're going next. No, we're not past them, apparently. Damn it. Don't just sit there, guys. Take him down. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Where are his guts? Oh, God. Only a monster would do such a thing. Yep. And Boltons will pay for this. Yeah, at some point. One of them's gonna get beat the shit out of. Another one's gonna stab by his own son. Be good. God. Arthur. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hey, well, Royland. After all we've been through, must the gods continue to shit on this house? <laughs> what have we ever done to them? Follow the Starks? Obey the rule of law? The White Hills started this. Ramsay Snow may have held the knife, but they're the ones who sharpened it. Fuck the White Hills. And <laughs> fuck Ramsay too! The sooner we're rid of them all, the better for everyone. Yep. The Glenmore Guard are gone. Oh. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be yours, Royland. You'll get no argument from me. But how do we bloody fight them? We just don't have the numbers. No. Not yet, anyway. And they still have Ryan. Lud makes a show of being strong, but he's no better off than us. Not if the Boltons refuse Where is to... he? Where is my brother? Oh, lady. oh my god. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... Oh, no. No. Oh, no. No, Arthur, no. I'll just sit there, oh, Roderick. No. Hug her. It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. You can't blame yourself, Elena. He was a grown man. He made his own choices. But he trusted me. He always has. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. No. He was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. <laughs> and now to die like this, tortured, mutilated. I wish there was something I could say to Fuck. make this easier. Is that meant to console me? Ramsay came here because of you. If we hadn't been your allies. Yep, I don't want that choice. <laughs> that was bad. And now to die. Like this. Tortured. Mutilated. I hope this works. Ramsay Snow did this. He's a madman. Ramsay was here because of you, Roderick. Uh. If we hadn't been your allies. Elena. I'm sorry. Hugger, goddammit. Let's get you someplace warm. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? You can't help the dead. So care for the living. For me, that's Brian, Talia, Mira, and you. Roderick.
You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you, whatever you need. Thank you, Roderick. Finally. That's a cute shot. Alright, where are we going now? Ah, oh, Christ, I hate it when we're over here. Great. Ah, there you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? <laughs> Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira, I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. Oh. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros. Oh, I'm sorry. In front of Kept everybody. a secret, dude. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. I'm sorry about that. I, I really did try to be discreet. But you couldn't, could you? Because you're in over your head. Ah. I know it. And Marjorie knows it. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. God. What? Mira. Let's try that again. Marjorie saw, of course. Lord Andros is a threat to my family. He's plotting against them even as we speak. I believe you, but you called attention to yourself, Mira. Yeah. And you angered Marjorie. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. Can't do anything. Okay, what? got it. Mira, you're not the girl I knew at High Garden. <laughs> She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. I set that up not for you. Not anymore. Dude. You know how much I need this marriage. Sarah, you can't mean this. I have too few friends in King's Landing as it is. I'm sorry. I really am. But I just can't anymore. Thanks, Sarah. Bitch! Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. Nothing's worth losing your friendship over, Sarah. I would have said the same thing once. To go before she sees me. She oh, will. Mira be Forrester. Dead. Bye. What's up? Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. Alright, let's go, dude. Are you the same guy from the wedding? Ooh, she saw that. Why don't you help me, dude, instead of just making faces? Damn it. Where are we now? Ooh. Oh, got some explaining to do. I thought you'd be happier. I'm glad he's dead. Felt good plunging the knife in, at least. But it doesn't feel like I expected. I thought I'd feel lighter. Or something. No matter what happens, I'll have your back. Always. And I yours, little brother. All right. But we should never have come here. <laughs> this city. It only holds pain for me, Asha. <laughs> I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been. Like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. All Asha, right. you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Why didn't he like that? I did some work. We all did some work. Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. 
Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, yeah, we had some difficulties. My time is short. No battle is without difficulty, Your Grace. But we fulfilled your orders. All of them? Nope. I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Your Grace, we encountered the slave master, Dizorzo Raza, on the way to the signal tower. I regret that he lost his life. Oh, don't fucking... You admit it, then? The punishment for defying a queen is death. And yet, do you come to me for a reward? Uh. Why should I let this pass? Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. Sorry. I'm waiting. Because Beska was Dizor's slave. For years. Damn you, Asher. She deserved her revenge as much as any slave in Marine. You have my sympathies. Keep your pity, Dragon Queen. Give us soldiers and we'll be gone. I apologize for her, Your Grace. It's all right, Malcolm. I do not hold it against her or you. You have proved yourselves in battle. And while you disobeyed my orders, you had good reason. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot spare my second sons. Damn it. What? But Your Grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marine. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. You promised me Croft and his second sons. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. Yay. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. What the hell's this? What? Whoa! This gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. Thank you, Your Grace. We promise to put it to good use. I'm sure you will. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. <laughs> On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. Nice. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. All right, dude. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace. Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, oh. I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen Alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Oh, Do shit. So. But let me know your answer soon. Is he gonna end up in the TV show? You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. That's true. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. You're right, Uncle. The Mother of Dragons would make a powerful ally. If she succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, she'll be the only ally we need. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. That's true. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. Don't even think about it. You <laughs> just couldn't keep your fucking mouth shut, could you? Oh, come on. Had to tell her everything. You sold me out for a chest of gold. Uh, not for gold, dude. Come on. We're out of options. I need your help, Beska. I need this. I need that. You're just a sport lordling under it all, aren't you? I'll make oh. it up to you, all of it. I swear it. If you think we can find a false in Marine, I need to hear it. <sighs> the little queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers. And I know the worst. Huh. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. <laughs> as long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. Thanks. I must talk further with the Queen. 
Don't get yourselves killed. Oh, I'll try, Uncle. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait to see that. A friend is a friend to the end of the end. That's forever. Have a day. Stay by your side. 